Before the awful events of last Monday when four law enforcement officers were murdered, Charlotte was struggling to contain deadly violence, and our struggle has been an aberration from what we are seeing across the country. AH Data Lytics, a data analytics company focused on criminal justice, has found that the number of murders nationwide down about 20% during the first three months of this year. And look at some of these numbers from specific cities. Philadelphia saw 36 fewer murders in the first quarter of this year. New Orleans, 23. Dallas, 21. Washington, D.C. was down 19. New York, 17. Chicago was down 10. Yet here in Charlotte, we have seen more crime scenes, well, like this one right here. Eight more killings in the first three months of this year compared to last. Alexandria Sands has been writing about this for our news partners at Axio Charlotte. So CMPD is very aware and has been pretty forthcoming that we did see a rise in homicides during the first three months of mm -hmm. 2024. Um, they're also saying this is a small sample size. We're just talking about three months here. And it's not as bad as 2020, the year of the pandemic, mm -hmm. when homicides got really out of control. Um, another thing that they pointed out is that there's really no way to tell what is causing this rise because there are so many factors that go into the homicide rate. Things like um, unemployment can influence mm -hmm. it or just how much the population is using social media. Social media seems to be something that's really causing teens to be exposed to a lot of violence and to kind of be motivating them to get involved into these negative lifestyles. Mm -hmm. That can be another factor. And it's just a, a lot of things are happening that they, they're having trouble predicting. We know in, in other cases, we, we've seen juvenile crime rising. Is that part of this? Is juvenile crime part of this homicide number two? Yeah, a lot of uh, the youth, they're getting involved in these negative lifestyles. Like I said, social media seems mm -hmm. to be a factor. And then also just they have easy access to firearms. Um, so far in 2024, we know that at least 21 of the shootings were by juvenile suspects. And of those, 17 were into houses or cars. And there were more than 70 victims inside those houses or cars. Um, and CMPD tells us that sometimes they're not even targeting the correct home or the correct uh, car of who they're intending to shoot. It's just crazy, some of these scenes that we've seen. I know you talked to Greg Jackson, a community activist who's really trying to do something about all this, and he's told you that we're dealing with a bigger problem than just gun violence. What did he mean by that? Yeah, Greg Jackson is very involved with the youth in Charlotte. He's really in touch with this community, so I wanted to get his perspective as to what was going on. Yeah. And he mentioned how a lot of these teens are just angry. They're stuck in cycles of poverty. They feel like there's not much opportunity for them, and they want to feel seen. They're going to school hungry, um, and then they're lashing out at their teachers and at their, and they're getting into fights, which then escalates to gun violence. Which gets to prevention programs, right? I know he's working on those kinds of things, CMPD, the city. Do we have enough of them? Is there evidence that these programs are working? Yeah, CMPD has a lot of programs that they've talked about where they're intervening with juveniles mm -hmm. after they've already gotten in trouble and trying to steer them back onto course. But of course, Charlotte can always do better with addressing uh, things like affordable housing. And what we know about Charlotte, which could be why this has made us an outlier, is that Charlotte does not have the best upward mobility. Mm -hmm. So that could be the thing that is kind of unique here and why our homicide rate is rising while other cities are seeing it going down is because we're just not doing a good enough job making sure that people have opportunity and that they can come out out of poverty. Yeah, a, a reminder, a lot of work still to do on, on many fronts with all of this. Alexandra Sands at Exio Charlotte. Alex, appreciate the time. Thanks so much. If you'd like to read more, just head to axios.com slash local slash Charlotte. Coming up next here.